hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you another diy home project in which we converted our basic and yet simple laundry room into a farmhouse style look so the first thing you're going to do is remove the trash hold so we can go ahead and lay the tile we decided to go with peel and stick tiles we researched into it and we found out that they were actually uh, really good so we decided to buy these in amazon i will link it down below for you they have different patterns different designs we went with this one and uh, yeah we really like the outcome so we will link that down below if you would like to use that and the first thing you're gonna do is actually clean the floors and then let it dry so it could be cleaned and dry. And then you can lay your tiles just to see how many you're gonna need in each way. Because at the end, as you can see, you're gonna have to cut one out. So you wanna make sure that you have enough. But once we decided how many we're gonna need across, we decided to lay it down. So you remove the back piece and then you press down and that's pretty much it so you're just gonna have to remove the backing like you see here and then you place it down you the only um tedious thing about this is that you're gonna have to if you get a design like this you're gonna have to make sure that the patterns meet and they're not overlapping so what i mean by that and i'll show you in a few we ended up realizing that not all the tiles the patterns are accurate so as you can see here these don't meet up right so you're gonna have to make sure that before you peel it from the back that it's gonna meet the same pattern as the tile that you already have on the floor so that was a little uh tedious it took a little more time than expected but other than that it came out nice i like it you can't even tell it's peel and stick it's lovely and so we really do recommend this tile if you will like it again they have different designs and styles now moving on to the second step would be uh, your cabinets so we decided to go with unfinished cabinets and then we went to lowe's and purchased all the items that we were going to need the material so you're going to need some primer some paint and then some sandpaper uh, you could buy it already all done the white cabinets they sell them at home depot or lowe's but we found that they were super expensive compared to the unfinished one and since we really enjoy painting we decided to do it ourselves so the first thing you're going to do with the cabinets is remove the shelf from the inside and then remove the door with the hinges so then you can go ahead and prime it So here you have the cabinets with the primer we decided to do two coats just because we thought that would look better you don't necessarily need to it really depends on your preference so we let it uh, we primed it once let it dry then we primed it again and then um, once it was dry the second time we went ahead and grabbed some sandpaper and just touched around the cabinets to see if there was any roughness and then smooth it out the sandpaper and then we went ahead and used our spray gun to spray the paint we thought that would be faster and it was our first time using it so we decided to cover the inside of the cabinet so it didn't get inside since we didn't paint the inside um, and yeah we went ahead and sprayed the cabinets down and the door Okay, so once that was dried up, we went ahead and removed the wire rack that we had in the laundry room and then we replaced it with the cabinets. So here you have it. So now moving on to the third step would be to uh, do the shelves and the countertop. So we went ahead and purchased two regular pine two by six and then a three quarter inch birch plywood. And then we got the edge banding. You don't necessarily need this. Uh, you will see in the video how we used it. Uh, so it's really up to you. And then we got the poly. 
So the first step you're gonna do is create two pocket holes on each of the shelves so you can attach it to the wall. And once you're done doing that, this is uh, how it's gonna end up looking. You're gonna have one there and then the other one down over here. So obviously it depends on where your studs are, so you just make sure that you uh, locate them on your wall. But then we went ahead and used this pre-stain for the shelves. So here is the shelving and then we pre-stained it. We did uh, one coat of that. You could do two, but it's really up to how dark you want your stain to come out at the end. Um, but yeah, so the first step is to pre-stain it, let that dry up, and then you can stain it. So now moving on to the countertop, we did those three holes right there for the electrical of the washer and dryer. Um, he used this hole saw right here. He actually did it and I didn't get to record it, so I had him kind of show you how he did it just in case you wanted to know. But pretty much you just go down like this, you measure out where your electrical is gonna go so you have an idea. And that's pretty much it. And then we went ahead and stained the plywood. We didn't pre-stain this just because it's plywood compared to the pine. So we um, didn't necessarily need to do that. You could do it if you want to, but we just went ahead and stained it and we gave this two coats. Okay, so then once you let that dry it out, you're gonna go ahead and do the edge banding. So apart from that, you're gonna need some type of heat. So I have the mini easy press for Cricut. Uh, if you happen to have an iron, that works fine. But this was so small and convenient to be able to use it. So it was actually handy. Uh, and essentially how you do it is you just place the band against the edge of the plywood and then you press heat against it. So it adheres to the edge of the plywood just like so. So all you have to do is keep extending it and pressing down heat and then it would adhere. And so the last step once you're done doing that is you're just gonna stain the band so everything can match and you let it dry and that's about it that's your countertop okay so back to the laundry room here you have it here's my washer and dryer and the cabinets and this is what i meant by the three holes on the countertops for the electrical for the washer and dryer so that can go in smoothly and it could be um, against the wall. So you'll see when we attach that. But first we went ahead and attach the two shelves in between the cabinets. And once we were done doing the shelf, so we went ahead and put it in the countertop and all we had to do was place it on top of the washer and dryer. And just to give you, uh, just to show you, these are the three holes that we did earlier. It was just to make the cables uh, fit in perfectly and it'd be nice. Other than some decor pieces that I still need, this is pretty much it, it's done. I really hope that you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I will be writing a list of the items that we used today down below. But if you do happen to have any questions, please let me know. And I will be back with more videos.